Welcome to ZIA TV covering small cap stocks and emerging companies. Today we're going in depth with Grover Wickersham, CEO of East Side Distilling Company. Now, East Side is one of only a few public craft distillers, if not the only one. Grover, what does that mean for your company exactly? Uh, well, it's uh, it's a big plus. Um, it means that we can uh, have access to the public capital market, uh, and it means that uh, we can use our shares for acquisitions. And I, I would mention that in the last 90 days, we've made two acquisitions. Uh, and it also means that uh, investors who would like to participate in the craft distilling space have an opportunity to do so directly. What about the, the distilling industry itself? I'm understanding that it has seen some tremendous growth over the past few years. Your thoughts on that? Well, I, I kind of correct you a little bit on that. I think the overall spirits industry is growing. Uh, it's taking um, share away from wine and beer. Uh, I, but I think in terms of the real, the real growth has been in the craft uh, distilling sector, and that's uh, that's been solid double-digit growth. Um, and the reason is that uh, consumers like the idea, uh, kind of similar to what happened with uh, the whole um, craft brewing, uh, you know, micro microbrewery industry. Uh, uh, consumers like the idea of uh, buying local spirits from uh, uh, smaller companies. And I'm also understanding that there is uh, consolidation taking place among the larger liquor companies. Is that accurate? Uh, well, there, there has been. I think recently you heard that um, uh, High West Distilling, which is uh, a, a major craft distiller, was purchased by Constellation Brands for, I believe it was around $160 million. And uh, that was, um, I believe, it was around six or seven times revenues, uh, and that that is happening. I, I think uh, there's always a lot of acquisitions in that space. Any upcoming company news that you want to share with us? Uh, well, I, okay. First of all, I would I would say that we just uh, filed our Form 10Q quarterly report with the SEC, and we just did our quarterly conference call and press release. Uh, so I would uh, direct the Zach's subscribers to, uh, well, a couple of things. I, uh, I, we are followed by uh, Ian Gilson, who's a Zach's analyst. And uh, I direct uh, uh, people who'd like to learn more about us to uh, his reports and, and also the SEC filings. Uh, in terms of upcoming news, um, as I mentioned in the our earnings call today, um, we're in the process of getting deliverables from Sandstrom. Sandstrom is a spirit branding firm that branded Bullet Bourbon and St. Germain liqueur and aviation gin and Stillhouse and a number of other spirits. And uh, we're hoping to do um, a uh, repackaging and redesign of some of our products, like, uh, for example, our Portland potato vodka. Uh, that's going to be, um, over the next 90 days, rebranded by them. Is there a stock ticker that you can give us real quick? Yeah, our stock ticker is ESDI. All right, thank you, and cheers. And here's to more good news coming out of your company and being reported here on ZIA TV. Now, you can get more insights on East Side Distillery by going to scr.zax.com.